Let's watch this. I've had oh my gosh. For a long oh, they're starting right off with the trailer? Plan needs too much time and too I'm not complaining. Can go wrong. Too many things can so go wrong. Specific aside, Wait, who was the, the one saying that? Confirm the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge, huge price. price. Who's that voice? Is that Shailen Ed's voice? This is a signal for the masters of the Nightwind. So oh, her! Oberon was indeed being threatened. Great going Hell on yeah. There. We're already off to a rocky start here. Damn. Oh, I see so many people complaining with how pale she looks in game. It's hilarious. Bring it. <laughs> Those legs, though. Oh, her geo things are sound-based. That's cool. That ancient name, there's only one place she could go. I wonder why she's a DJ. Temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. New enemy, new weekly. Bo oh, I'm sorry, no, new world boss for Jalen and Mats is going to be my guess. Which means we can't pre-farm her. In the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, Hello? you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the wolves, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. A synosis? Survival is worth any price. Charge! Let's give him everything we've got! Oh, it's a full-out battle. And only my weakest death can clear the dead. All I wanted was to see her again. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. If I could go back, I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You've experienced Aww, Heck yes. Exactly okay. Wow. They they started things so hard right off the bat. I was like, ooh, right in my face. Oh my gosh, Ch Shaska looks really good in this image, though. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be Xyloland's banner right now, but like they put her in the background and they really just like highlighted like the future waifus. There's literally only waifus in this image, too. Oh my gosh. Goodbye wallet. Honestly, goodbye wallet. Also, story is very interesting because the Fatui Harbinger seems to be a very heavily involved in 5.1 story. This will be interesting. Uh, and we get a code right all way too. Oh, they're just they're just like not holding back. Okay, we're gonna skip through that. I already have the codes. Buddy! Hello, travelers. Welcome Wait. to the Genshin Impact version of the program. NPCs here. My name is Hello? Gabe, and I'm from Hello? the Genshin Impact localization team. <laughs> and I'm Kai. I'm also from the Lope team. <laughs> and we'll be your host for today's program. Oh, We're usually translating Genshin Impact behind that the know, scenes, know. so it's an honor to talk about the latest update. I'm pretty stoked about what's coming in version 5.1. Totally. I'm sure that everyone what else is just NPCs, as excited though? to find out about the new update. Then let's give what up an what interesting been change. For. First up, Shilonen will be our new playable character in version 5.1. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Shilonen <laughs> has a lot going on. Oh, Where she definitely does. Yeah, we should probably start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen is a famous smith from the Children of Echoes, one of Natland's six tribes. Okay. She forges all kinds of yeah, goods, so she like is kind of related to Kachina. vehicles and weapons. You name it, and she'll make it. Cool. We've already the strike. Wait, what strike? Seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's drill turbo twirly. You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Great. Wow, she's forged so many creations. <laughs> yeah, and they're all really varied. She commands so much respect in Natland, but her job is really challenging. Yeah. What's her secret? Shilonen is a really <laughs> skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. Yep. You can't yeah. accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she believes that it's important to take breaks. So okay. what does she do during her time off? 
sleep. Well, for one, she likes to sunbathe in the tree branches. That's right. We saw her doing that before. Oh, wait, right, right, yeah, right. In the ignition teaser. Yes. But that's not her only hobby. She also likes to listen to music. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's why there's tribe, no, right? it's, um, there's NPCs because the actors are on strike. Ears, okay, okay. They actually connect to a record player. Cool. She made them so that she could listen to music during her work breaks. Okay. And the musical beats help her keep up a steady forging rhythm. They're okay, so she's handy. all about the music. Wow, it seems like her skill set is really convenient. Mm -hmm. And hey, Marsh. as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's take a look. Great. That's a nice walk. Damn, Ooh, that's a walk. She's in her Night Souls blessing attire. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Wow, she makes Kachina power look creep so right off easy. the bat. Yeah. She can even stop in the middle of her climb Ooh, and take right. in the surrounding view. Nice. I bet she finds a lot of inspiration that way. For sure. If we can do photo mode when she's doing that, that'd be sick. When she finds something interesting, she immediately Oh, I never action. noticed the designs on her eyes or the details on her eyes. Oh, she's intense. Speaking of intense, let's discuss her battle mechanics. Shilonen uses also, I've noticed this before, but I think it's for her tail, but that opening right there... If this game wasn't as PG as it was, there'd be a bit of a butt crack from there, because there's no way. <laughs> Special equipment in combat, too. See those three objects next to her? They look like gems, right? Wait, three well, objects? those are samplers that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Whoa, those are super Wait. shiny. They really suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. The samplers are aligned with Geo oh. by default, but their yeah. element will change when you add Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or oh, Electro Oh, she wants to be in party. a mixed team? For example, if Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to Hydro Ooh. damage. Oh, okay. Well, how do you activate the samplers? It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting yeah. enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. Okay. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, okay. then all samplers will be activated. This oh, reduces okay. so, the corresponding okay. elemental okay. resistances of nearby enemies. Okay, so you, okay, she doesn't I necessarily want to have like a, 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 a nice. party member Shimona's of each different element. When there are at least two different Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro wait, characters wait, wait, in what? the party. <laughs> Once you have an optimal team, wait, you wait, just wait, 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 you probably want to have one Pyro, one Hydro, and then maybe a Kazuha. I think that's probably going to be her best thing. Replace it with a Zhongli if you really are struggling. That sounds that sounds that sounds what it needs to be. She's definitely more of a support. So I'm wondering I'm wondering who that should be. Zhilo Nen. Who would the two characters? Be? I mean, Mavuika could be a future potential thing, but I'm, try I'm really trying to. I'm really. I guess. Um, yeah. The types don't know. of elemental resistance. Of course, Shilonen also works in teams with multiple Geo characters. Oh. <laughs> if Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. Oh, really? Oh, Shilonen okay. also has a talent that so you be can make her Shilonen DPS. When Shilonen is in your party, triggering a Night Soul transmission with one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Oh. Shilonen's elemental burst deals AoE oh, she's also Geo really... damage. And if she has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, oh. then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set intervals. What? All right. That's all we so have for Shilonen's heals? skill. So she heals? Yep. Oh, she I heals forgot it. to mention something important. That sounds like a what better Kazuha than ancient to me. Names. Shilonen inherited the art of ancient also, name forging. She's like the Pyro Archon even appointed her also to forge really good ancient extra good support for, for Notland characters. Ancient names record the deeds of Notland's mm. heroes, right? It's amazing she can forge something like that. Exactly. Cool. Natland cherishes its ancient names. 
Few have the honor of being recognized by past heroes, and even fewer individuals have the ability to forge ancient names. Be sure to check out Tribal Chronicles Nanatskayan in version 5.1 to learn more about Shilonen and ancient name forging. And, just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra primo gems and level up materials by right. completing Shilonen's right. Tribal Chronicle during version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, the Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. The traveler is an outlander, so their adventures in Natland aren't recorded in the Night Kingdom. If those oh, we're getting two acts right off the bat it's again. It's going to be pretty tricky I just to forge that. an ancient name for the Traveler. Yeah, no wonder the Pyro Archon said nobody's ever done it before. During the version 5.1 Archon quest, we'll have to figure out how to overcome that obstacle. We'll also get the chance to meet Sitlali from the Masters of the Nightwind. Her going to be so happy. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wyub, so she might be able to turn the tides in our favor. Wait, yes. she gets drunk? Of course. The traveler's ancient name won't be. What the is that only facial obstacle. expression? The That's so cute. The threat of the abyss remains, and it seems like Drunk Aurora, characters? a mysterious member of the Masters of the Nightwind, is working Bruh. on a secret and Aurora. plan. Oh, I didn't Ooh. realize he had blue hair. There's so much to look forward to. And he has two different Travelers eye colors. Can also earn extra That's new. From this and class, he's confirmed right? Electro. You're exactly right. Just like in version 5.0, they can earn an extra 500 they dropped all, wait, did we see Sit Lollies? Did we see Sit Lollies? Of course. Sit Lolly from the Masters we of see? the Nightwind. No, we Her don't. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about no, the don't. Wyub. So she might be able to turn the tides no, in our favor. No, we don't. I got too distracted by her of facial course. expression. No. no. Oh! Cryo. Confirmed Cryo. Officially. Name there won't we go. Be the Ooh. There's so much to look forward to. Travelers can also earn extra primo gems from this Archon quest, right? <laughs> You're exactly right. Okay. Just like in version 5.0, travelers can 500? earn extra 500 primo gems if they complete the Natlan Archon quest Act oh, for 3 two. and Act 4 so during version 5.1. Okay. But that's not all. Extra rewards will also be available for exploring Natlan during version 5.1. Travelers can earn a total of 400 extra Primo Gems by completing related world quests and increasing Natlan exploration progress. But I have to do it within 5.1. Travelers who already reached the required amount of progress in version 5.0 can directly claim well, the rewards confirm, during uh, the new Well, she confirmed a Cryo version. and a Natlan teaser? I didn't notice. Or I forgot. But don't about exploring new regions. These exploration goes rewards will be brain available again. for two versions. That means you will have all of version 5.1 and 5.2 oh, to satisfy God. the conditions and claim the rewards. Okay, that's good. Uh, Can I'll, we I'll, that's fine. similar rewards to become available as the map expands in future updates? Say yes. You bet. Good. Limited time exploration rewards will be offered for all future Natlan areas. Yes. Each time a new region is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. Two versions, okay. That way, travelers should have enough time to explore the new maps and goes claim my time those management. extra primo gems. Each version okay. comes with a ton of activities. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain commissions or events. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. We should give the travelers an example. No problem. In Wait, version 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture phlogiston aphids. It's not as simple as I make it sound though. These what? creatures have been corroded by the abyss, which caused them to grow unnaturally That's a new creature. Large. Wow, is nothing safe from abyssal corrosion? Natlin's no. really going through a tough time. Tell me about it. Luckily, the corrosion Wait, are, levels are still Are those the, those dumb Start floaty penguins but corroded? Then no, that's a bug. Then insect net to break their shields. That's a bug. Once the surrounding shields are down, travelers can purify the abyssal energy inside of them. Elsewhere in Natlan, travelers who venture into a specific underground cavern will discover a secret source automaton that was left behind by a lost civilization. New world, world. The secret source constructor awaits all challengers. This isn't a weekly if boss, is it? If you manage to beat this new boss, then you can earn special materials. I bet Shilonen would love to get her hands this on the This is a world boss. World boss has to be world boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which means we still don't have a weekly okay. boss. We introduced our new character and the new boss. Mm -hmm. it, Let's for not move on to the event wishes. Which is crazy. In the first half of version 5.1, travelers can look forward to event yep. wishes for Shilonen and Chiori. 
Uh, a new five-star sword, together, Peak Patrol Song, that sword looks will be sick. featured on the weapon banner. Only because it has those lights. And in the second lights. half of version 5.1, we'll have returning event wishes for Nahida and, and the Hutal. second half is actually yes. a really good and banner. And new four-star weapons will also be added. Wait, new four-star weapons? Okay, we'll get back to that in a, in a hot minute. And in the second half of version 5.1... This is a really good second half. A lot of- I've been hearing that a lot of people no longer like Hu Tao because of the HP drain. Y'all just need to get better at playing the game, honestly. Or get a Zhongli shield. Bruh. Although she is completely power creeped by Arlequino now, so I can kind of understand that much, but Nahida? If Geo is not to your taste, if you're not simping for anyone in the first half, Nahida is definitely the best choice out of all four characters. Hand down best geo character in the game so yeah if you're if you're wondering who you should prioritize nahida 100 percent, no questions asked i would honestly put jylanen as number two hu tao is number three unless you don't need a dps and chiori honestly kind of meh she's not bad but uh, yeah that's that's my two cents on the banners we'll have returning event wishes for nahida and hu tao Yes, and new four-star weapons will also be added to the weapon banner during version 5.1. Okay. Keep okay. an eye out. If Wait, you're is this a rate-up? Oh, I can't is this a wait. This is probably the rate-up ones. But it's about time for our first break. See Honestly, I mean, they're four-stars, but their designs are kind of meh to me. Nothing too special. Definitely not Lin themed so I guess there's that going for it, but uh, See you soon, travelers. See you soon. Nothing too exciting. Okay, we can skip this. That everyone can figure out where we're at. <laughs> yep, it's Sumeru City. Things are looking Wait, really what? festive. That's because we're celebrating Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. Nahida's birthday. I still birthday. remember how the Subzeros festival kept repeating hey, during the Archon Quest two years ago. Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Sorostana. Oh, right. and I was going to be cute. It was so sad. It was. Especially during that third instance of when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. The sudden change of music was so heart wrenching. Definitely. The Traveler really helped out by exposing the Academia, and Nahida was able to earn her people's love. But we all feel like she I deserves too. a true birthday celebration, hey, Popo. right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, in the version 5.1 event, Chromatic Ode of Candice and Roses, Travelers will get We're the chance a free to give the birthday celebration that she Candace. deserves. Candice? Why <laughs> Candice? Right, finally. Yeah, actually, Bruh. I have a few screenshots that I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a sneak peek I mean, at I don't have her C6, Festival? but yeah, Candice. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, that's a lot of people. It looks like what? they're secretly discussing something. Oh, this year, surprise the birthday Academia for is Nahida? Organizing a birthday celebration unlike any other. You can't keep a secret a from Nahida. She knows everything. Their past mistakes. Plus, the traveler has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru to prepare a special Although, surprise Dia for Nahida. Although, and Candice screen time, I'm not oh, complaining. I can't wait to see her reaction. Of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability to keep it a secret. So don't give it away, travelers. The flower carriage is another important. If we were to just take Tanari and Kale, shift them off the frame, zoom in closer to Candace and Dihya doing that exact shushing motion, it would be perfection. That that's the frame I want. Especially since they're looking, you know, down towards me. Just mmm. Anyways, it moving is your on. Ability to keep it a secret. So don't give it away, travelers. The flower carriage is another important part of Subzerus Festival. This year, our Sumeru friends actually, have created- Actually, even, even better, even better. Add, add Jylonen into the frame as well, doing the same thing. There you go. Now, now it's perfect. The miniature carriage to simulate the parade. That way, it can go off without a hitch. <laughs> That's so nice of them. And the traveler will serve as the knight of flowers during the real parade, escorting the carriage along cute. the route. That's cute. Wow. Oh, so there better be the a cutscene like with this. Protector. Yeah, it looks like the Aranara are also involved in the festival. If you want to learn more about this year's Subzerus festival, including the birthday surprise, then be sure to check out the event during version 5.1.
It's time to make some memories. As long as the R and R don't take forever to Travelers do. Can also look but I think this would be cute. May he just ce celebrating Remember an actual character's birthday in game is a first, correct? I think playable character that is. I think that's going to be a first. I I actually like like this idea honestly. For the parade simulator, and it's for the baby radish too. Can't complain. Screenshot? Travelers can take it for a spin during the event, Rocking Carriage. Wait. The goal is to control the direction They're of the carriage to avoid obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible. This is like possible. the Zone Zero Quite thing, except the it's and you'll cuter. Be able to obtain a higher score. Nice. Okay. In the second event, nice. in a reflection of reality and dreams, Travelers They're adding will subway enter unique dreamscapes, right. <laughs> search for anomalies it's within subway the dreams, and fix them. <laughs> oh, so it's like Wait. a Spot the Difference game. This is That's leeway. one of my specialties. <laughs> In the third event, Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Archon. Earn points by defeating as many enemies as possible within the time limit. You can even increase your performance level and earn buffs by satisfying special conditions during the challenge. Ah, uh, this should be a breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha! Ha! <laughs> oh, wow. Looks like someone's excited for the Bennett Sub Toy event in Fontaine. I, I hope travelers feel the same way. I don't hey, remember I'm that sure one. They will. In addition to Nahida's birthday celebration, version 5.1 offers other exciting events. Okay. In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. Feast? They can even Food? choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, okay. cool. Each challenge comes with unique buffs. Use them wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible. You'll find tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. I would assume so. In Reminiscent Regiment Thrill, travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge with four random stages. Oh. Each challenge will feature different reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits things. the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. You can give your team an advantage by choosing a buff that works with the specific stage design. It's all about optimizing your teamwork. <laughs> Absolutely. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn thrilling stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. New Envisaged Echoes challenges will also be added in version 5.1. What? Travelers will now be able to obtain Echoes for Zhongli oh, and Oh, the Echo challenge, oh, whatever. Zhongli's <laughs> Echo is really cool. Keqing's Echo is also beautiful. She leaves a trail of flowers behind her. <laughs> Whoa, save some excitement for our other updates. During version 5.1, a few familiar faces Damn, will look at also her be in added the middle. to Genius Invocation TCG. Travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Cool. Version 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. It sounds There's pretty packed. I'm not going to be at home that off we for most of it, too. Of the program. That's not all. There's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. Oh. Wait, do you mean... That's right. Oh, Leaving him. We'll be back in version 5.1. Just oh, like dear. always, travelers can exchange their items for primo gems and level up materials. I even heard that Natlin's specific materials will be available during his latest visit. That's awesome. good. That should be all for the version 5.1 events. Okay. That means it's about time for our second break. You got it. We'll be right back, travelers. And I am going to skip right through it. Welcome back, travelers. It's time to jump into the system optimizations. Okay. First up, a skip feature will be added to the Spiral Abyss. Right, I heard about allows this. You to skip floor 9 in the new update if yep. you obtain full stars on floor 11, 11 of the previous Spiral Abyss. Mm, yep. Obtaining full stars on floor 12 okay. will allow you to skip both skip floor, floor 9 floor and floor 10. Yep. Hopefully, I this heard about change this. will create a smoother experience. Yes, it will. That sounds so convenient. It is very, yeah, very know, convenient. Right? Just as a reminder, the Primo Gem rewards from the skipped floors will need to be claimed manually. Yep. The floor rewards, such as Domain Reliquaries, will be distributed automatically when you open the Spiral Abyss interface. In addition, you can now open multiple Domain Reliquaries Yeah, this is once. big. Very, very nice. big. We don't have to keep opening them one by one. Yeah. Oh, thank freaking goodness. Are you kidding the me? The filtering and sorting logic of the character <laughs> artifact interface has been improved. The system will now remember your artifact set filters so that Wait. you don't have to set them every single time. You can also cool. sort by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those preferences will also be saved. 
That will make oh. it a lot easier to filter artifacts. Fine. Right. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. The character ascension mechanics will also be optimized in version 5.1. Do you, you mean? You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. Oh. A feature will also be added oh, to the awesome. crafting bench that allows you to I filter to recipes like... by character ascension goals. Are you kidding this me? This will allow you to easily view and craft the number of materials that you need. Now, you don't have to calculate the required what? materials and yes. quantities in advance. Yes. You can do all of that at the crafting bench. Thank Version you. Will also be oh my gosh, I have to do less math. Be sure and to going back and forth in menus. This is so good. All right, travelers. <laughs> it's so Some less of you annoying. Might have already noticed, but Genshin Impact turns four years old tomorrow. Oh, yes, We've all had the an archons. incredible journey so far, right? Let's see where this path is taken. Why does Mavika look it's so out of place amongst all the other archons? Mess. Let's do it. Rip Genjin Blanner website? Yeah, screw that. Honestly. Wait, what's this? Oh, is this the an- <laughs> Min -min? That's different art style. No, this is not the anime. Is it? it? Oh, what the fudge? That's a big ass sword. Why can't my traveler do that? Hello? Passing memories. Oh, this is an anniversary thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, nostalgia. Uh. Were oh, the two of them? Oh. The song is like in Japan Japanese. Travel through the heights and shallows. Put on a sturdy shell to face the barrels. I hear about your last trace. Or in Chinese for that matter. The love is shining bright in the deep night. Stand up to find many times and know what's wrong. The scars will finally. Aww. There was at least one cutscene that's part of a limited time event. They show Traveler with Pyro, I swear. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, world quest stuff. Yo, not everybody have done, has done this. Spoilers. And they're really making Ether the main character in this one. Damn. Oh, not the Nahida crying scene. The Yomiya story quest. I hope we will meet again. God damn, that was a good cutscene too. Uh oh. 
Al is a main character, smile. Wait, Pyro? Pyro? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you gotta tease? Here's four years of Genshin Impact. We're gonna tease Pyro? Hey, happy birthday. Bruh. <laughs> wow, it's already been four years. Where's the time gone? It really brings back so many memories when I see all those scenes. There's that fight against Storm Terror, the Battle of the Jade Chamber, the heat of They, re they really gotta hit Lord, us with the Mokadibata, nostalgia and all the good parts the about Genshin Impact to remind me I how much know. I liked it. And I'm definitely gonna have that song on repeat. Damn. That's exactly what I did with the Natland Symphony performance. Natland Symphony it performance? It seems like this is a good place to announce that Natland's first OST album, Land of Tlea Yaddle, is about to be released. Tlea the Yaddle? The album contains three discs featuring 78, 78 original tracks composed for Genshin Impact. There's that many already Yay, for Natland al already? Finally Natland's regional soundtrack to our playlist. Did it not show yeah. the Farina scene? They showed Farina scenes, right. just not THE Farina mm. scene. That looks you mean like her all getting her vision or a different one? That means it's time for the special program to come or to the end. uh Is there Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, please don't cry. Yeah, Alan? for sure. Well, I think they showed so a little bit of folk lore. They don't want and, to like hey, super on, spoil it. Fourth anniversary. That's so huge. Yeah, I've hit I mean, a little too hard, so honestly. Much work into this game over the years, and every version has been special. But I gotta say, 5.0, 5.1, these have been great. Exactly. I mean. Seriously, Genshin Impact is is not only a game to me. It's my work, mm. it's my life. Right. I play Genshin Impact every day. I talk about Genshin Impact every day. Hello. And I interact <laughs> with players online. It's all these years. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Totally. totally. So if I have to say something this time, we are truly, truly grateful that you guys are players are continue playing this game and yeah. we're just oh, not as the tear jerking as you guys oh, it's for what's over. coming next in the game awesome yeah no totally agree that's so great well unfortunately it's time for us to say goodbye once again thank you so much for all of the support over these past four years hope to see you in game bye everybody bye i wonder how many people are crying in the comments let's take a quick look at that and then we'll move on to the next thing a moment of silence for the two localizers that stepped up t to the voice this whole thing will probably be memed to death by the community. Uh, I mean, they weren't bad. I mean, obviously their voices weren't like, you know, the same the same level as when it's a voice actor doing it, but they 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 were fine. And because they weren't professional voice actors, there wasn't all these stuff like little comments and side stuff in between. And they just it enforced this event or this special program to just be on to the point of like all the things. And I actually prefer that it made it less cringe, like sure, their voices, you can kind of they kind of don't sound like that level of professionalism when they're talking but they got down to the point they gave us the information we needed it was very clear it, to us and there was nothing in between i actually kind of preferred this because it just got to the point i liked it i was like give me the information that i want don't waste my time boom and it was still 30 minutes long it was great you know they, yeah they did a good job hosting it i agree they did a pretty good job hosting it a really good job, in fact. Unsurprisingly, the localizers pronounce the leeway names perfectly. Oh, I didn't even like pick up on that. Bruh. It's great to the version program the way I like it. I agree. No BS in between. I, I quite approve. The Japanese stream was 1.5 hours because of all the VA messages for the anniversary. I would have hated that. I would have hated that. So we didn't get that in the English version because of the strike. Not gonna lie. I might get some hate for this, but I'm quite happy that there's a strike happening on the English side of things. So here, before the special program, there was this information stuff, but I think it's going to be everything that gets covered, which is why I don't really bother reading this all too much. Yeah, so we get the rewards for exploration. So this, it's like, this is information that was provided in the quality of life stuff that you can read before the thing if you start so choose. But yeah, we can just kind of go over this real quickly so yeah we're getting primo gems for exploration and you have two versions to um kind of get these rewards or else you miss out on it so you are like time of time gated so you kind of maybe want to get these sooner rather than later so if you're juggling multiple gotcha games this is kind of forcing you to play genshin a little more at certain points 
kind of smart of kind of smart on them and kind of fair and to be honest they give you two versions to do it so it's fine do, 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 do. and then you get more rewards for doing the um archon quest both of them that are coming out in version uh 5.1 so part three and part four spiral abyss we can now skip floors nine and ten if you're able to fully clear floor 11 and 12 which i fall under which is amazing and it looks like we can claim rewards a lot easier now by the looks of it which is super neat except for the primo gems that you still need to do manually which is perfectly fine the artifact rewards from the abyss we can just batch unlock them which is great and building characters is now a lot easier i feel like a lot of people were using like genshin planner or like a third party thing to kind of like do things or going between different screens in game to make sure that they're not doing it over but now you can just do it so much easier i'm so glad they did that so so glad mm. Wait, what's this? After the update, the Adventure Handbook Trounce Domain screen will sort Trounce Domains from newest to oldest, making it easier for you to view the reward location and other information. Okay, that's minor, I guess. I don't really use the handbook for that, so that's fine. AMK. Oh, they most definitely have data that no one's exploring. Because a lot of people are just in, they gamble for the characters, and then they don't play. They, they get the primo gems and they're done. Um, I think this is because a lot of people, they just like see the chest and they get like, what, one to four primo gems. They're like, it's not worth it. So now there's more incentive to do that. And I think that will get a few more people, but not everybody to explore more. I'm definitely going to be um, tackling that, though. Uh, more customable... Customable artifact filtering for characters which is great not a lot of information i feel like there was another bit of information regarding primo gems as well but i guess it wasn't this page but yeah what do you think about 5.1 i'm super excited for it i'm not gonna be i'm gonna be out of town for parts of it in fact a chunk of it as well as maybe even like ch a chunk of 5.2 which will definitely affect my countdowns. I don't know if I'll be able to even do one for 5.1. I might try and do one remotely, but it might end up failing. So we'll see how that all goes. But I'm excited.